In this presentation, we will continue on with our bank reconciliation for the second month of operations. Last time we focused in on the beginning balance and the deposits. This time we're focusing in on the checks and other outflows. Time to engage with Sage 50 Cloud Accounting. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars file. We're going to start off by opening up our reports once again by going to the reports drop down, taking a look at that financial statement report, that being the balance sheet report. That's the one we want. We are in the month of February, which is period two. That's the one. So I'm going to say OK there. And then we have the checking account. We're focusing in on the checking account, which is at 105.3601. If we then take a look at our bank statement, it's at 105.573.84. They're not in balance. Therefore, we need to do the bank reconciliation, which we are in the process of doing. Last time, we reconciled and took a look at the deposits, tying those out. This time, we're going to be looking at the checks and other decreases. So let's go up back on, on to our reconciliation, which is in process. And this is where we left off last time. We are in, of course, the checking account. We have the reconciling of the deposits, and I'm going to go ahead and, and go to the drop down up top. And now we want to take a look at the checks and other bank debits. So again, debits and credits, they're bank debits, so they're kind of reversed. So don't let the debit and credit thing mess you up. So we're going to go back on over here and we're going to say then we're reconciling from the, the bank statement to our books, recalling that if it's on the bank statement and not on our books we're probably gonna have to add it to our books if it's on the books but not on the bank statement then it may be an outstanding item and that's okay that's going to be one of the reconciling items in our bank reconciliation report so if it's a check also remember that it could take longer for it to clear uh, if it's a check if it's an electronic transfer it should be pretty close in terms of the date within like three days or something like that uh, and you might have different kind of reference numbers with regards to electronic transfers they could help you out with the reconciliation process as well so we're looking for that eleven thousand. let's go back on over we'll do some ticking and then some ticking and some tying some ticking and tying so we're going to say there's the eleven thousand. found it i'm going to go back on over here and make that green because green's good and it says it's good so i'm going to do two at a time now we're going to go a little faster here the 500 and the 360 500 and 360 there they are right in order so those were easy two at a time we're getting good at this we're getting good at this may expand it to three maybe not yet though not yet i'm not feeling that that confident yet so then we're at the three five three nine three three that's a long one let's do that one by itself three five three nine three three i'm going to pick the one up top notice that's a repeating item here so we have to be kind of careful actually it's not exact here but when you have the repeating items you got to be careful that uh that you you're you know you're picking up the right one uh, with regards to it so i'm going to go back on over here and say we got the three five three nine three three the three five three nine three three has been found now the 630 so let's find that 630 so here is the 630 there we have that done and then we've got uh the the 1359 the 1359 1359 let's find that 1359 done found it so there is that and then we've got the uh 168 so the 168 168 back on over there's that one so found it 168 and we found that then we have the 1359 1359 so the 13 that's at the bottom here so there's that one 1359 and then we have the uh, uh let's make that one green i found that one make it green and then the one two three thirty seven one two three thirty seven and that one i don't see so there's a problem with that one because it's, it's on the bit so i'm gonna say ah man i'm just i'm not gonna let it bother me right now i'm gonna just keep pushing forward see if i can find the rest of them so there's the 830 so 830 uh, let's see if we can find there's that one so that one's there 830 and just realize that the dates here on the bank statement should should be after at some point after the bank the, the the amounts on the books and again they'll be pretty close if it's an electronic transfer if it's a check it could be quite different uh, so if I messed up any of the dates and didn't make that uh, the case then uh, you know bear with me here so I'm gonna say the six the 648 so we're looking for the 648. So there's the 648 there. 
So that one has been found, and so I'll make it green because that's what we do when we like find them. That's what our process has been like the whole time. So here's the 351271, the 351271. And has that one been checked off yet? No, it's still unchecked, so that's good. So there we have it. So now we have uh, these items haven't been found yet. And let's see. Well, let's, let's make this one green. I'm going to make that green because that one's been found. And so we have we have the problem in that I couldn't find this uh, 12337. And I don't think I'm going to find the withdraw and again the bank charges because if I don't have bank feeds, they're not going to those probably aren't going to be on our system. So now we're, we're off. You would think then by this and then these two which add up to about 243 according to the sum function down here if i go back on over to uh the bank rec we're off by the 24337 so that looks about right right we're off by the 24337 uh 24337 so that means we're gonna have to add these they're on the bank statement not on our books we're gonna have to add them so i'm gonna find that this one's a little bit more unusual i'd have to go figure that one out go to the bank and if it was a check, I can look at the canceled check. If it was a check for whatever reason that clear that's not on our system, or if it's an electronic transfer, then the bank statement might provide me with some more information such as the vendor for it. And I can go in and then add it to our system, check and make sure that it should be there and then add it to the system. So I'm going to say we did that and I'm going to go, all right, now we need to add these to our banking. So I'm going to go to the banking section. I'm going to go up to the, uh, reckon to the, uh, account register. Let's open up the old account register over here because that's where that's the easy way to input this stuff right we're into the easy way of doing the thing and then i'm going to say the drop down that's going to be the checking accounts so i'll enter it as of the end of february now uh, actually this one they want it should be in there as of uh the 28th that's good i'll put it at the end of february and then i'm going to say this is a payment and i'm going to say reference i'll say e 14 i'm going to say the payee and i'm going to add this one i'm going to say that i looked it up and this was a roof uh, some kind of window repair shop because somebody broke our we had a window problem but it's okay we fixed it now and we fixed it with easy window repairs that's the going to be the name of the vendor that helped us out and and even though it probably even made it so the heat doesn't get out as much so it might help with our electric bill even so it was actually a good thing and then the expense account is going to be repairs and maintenance over here so we're going to be picking up the repairs and maintenance see here's maintenance and repairs let's use that one that's going to be our default account for the 35 or the 6350 i'm going to go ahead and add that or save that and then close this back out and so there we have that and so the payee is going to be easy window repair. Now the account is populating automatically, which is going to be that maintenance account. And then I'm going to say if this is window, window repair, the payment is for that. How much was it again? The one, two, three, three, seven. This is going to be the one, two, three point three, seven and there it is so let's go ahead and save that and that should populate let's do the other ones now and the other ones a withdraw now this time we're going to say that that withdrawal was taken out by an owner now if it's a if it's a corporation it would be a dividend but if it was like a you know a partnership it would just be a draw of some kind so we're going to put it to an equity account this time as opposed to an expense account and that's if typically what you would like to see if you're doing the bookkeeping if it's cash coming out of the company and it's not used for an expense then if it's an expense you want an audit trail you'd want it to be have an electronic transfer check something like that if it's just cash coming out then we would assume then that it's going to be a draw and that might be the way you'd kind of want to think about that so then we're going to say that the this is going to be a payment i'm going to call it a draw and the the payee i'm going to, going to say is the owner this time and then again if it was a corporation it would be um it would be a dividend, you know, kind of a draw like that. But I'm just going to put it into an equity account. If it's a partnership or something, it would be an equity account. And so I'm going to I'm going to call it a dividend here because we're set up as a corporation. So I'm going to say this uh, that was a dividend, money going out to the owner. 
similar to again to a draw if it was a sole proprietor and then i'm going to say the memo draw or dividend and then the payment is going to be for the amount of the one hundred dollars one hundred dollars one hundo and then let's go ahead and save that and then we're going to do one more the reference number has been okay i think that's okay i'm going to say okay and then the last one's going to be that bank charge so the bank charge so i'm going to say this is a payment it's going to be i'll just call it bank charge it's going to be chase let's say and the account's going to two five zero zero is that right uh now i clicked off of it so i'm going to click back on here no that's not the one we want because that's at the loan account we want to see it. there's some kind of service charge account that i saw last time it's going to be bank service service charge expense let's do that one service charge expense and there we have it it's going to be bank charge and the payment is going to be twenty dollars this time i believe it was let's double check that so i don't mess it up twenty dollars i knew it I, did, I didn't even have to check really i was just checking just for all right there it is save that and then i'm going to close this back out and then we're going to go back on over here and uh then go back in and see if we can check those off now so now we're going to say all right now we should have these the one two three point three seven so the one two three point three seven should totally be there now so the one there it is one two three point three seven for that window repair they were nice people glad that doing business with them we're going to close that one out make it green and then we have the 100 and the 20 the 100 and the 20 so we're going to pick those up so there's the uh there's the 20 there's the 100 and that puts us in balance down below so now we're in balance everything looks good we're on the right date everything everything looks good now we haven't found a home for these on the bank statement we found a home for everything on the bank statement at this point let's just review because i'll make these green let's say we found a home for those we found a home for everything on the bank statement on our books we haven't found a home for everything on our books on the bank statement and that's fine because every, that means that these are going to be the outstanding items so if we're worried about any one of these items and we may be we might want to go through each one of them and check them we could see if they cleared in fe in march right and that's fine if they did, great, then they're still a reconciling item and they're going to be part of our reconciliation report so that we can verify the cash account balance as of the end of February. So let's go ahead and save this. So I'm going to say, let's, uh, let's say, okay, that has been done. Let's run the report now and just check it out. So we're going to go to the reports up top. I'm going to go back to the financial reports because I can't remember which section it's in. It's over here. It's in the reconcil account reconciliation, obviously. And then we're going to go up top to the account reconciliation. And then let's just make sure, let's go to that little options cog to make sure that we're on the right place. We want uh, the current period, or I'm just going to say period 2, February. We want to make sure that we're picking up the checking account. So that looks good. So then I'm going to say, okay, reconciliation report. Here's the general ledger amount, receipts, disbursements. There's the amount for the general ledger, the 104,792. Uh, what does that mean? That means that's the amount on the balance sheet as of the end of February. So if we look at the balance sheet, uh, we have the 104,792,64 uh, after we made those adjustments. We had to enter those three adjustments, which changed that number from the, when we started at. So then I'm going to go back on over and say, the amount on the bank is 105,573,84. Where does that come from? That comes from the bank statement, 105,573,84, uh, as of the same date. What's the difference between those two? Well, that's the reconciliation items. And that includes uh, the outstanding checks here, the outstanding checks. And here's going to be a list of those outstanding checks, which are going to be the reconciliation items between the bank balance and the book balance. That's going to be our reconciliation report so again we can check these items and we can we can check them by seeing if they cleared uh in march uh, so we can we can get assurance on each one of these items and then once we know exactly what the difference is then of course uh we have more assurance on the actual bank balance that's going to be in our system so that's going to be it for now let's get out of here